and then the Giants don't have an opportunity. But the reality is, we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place. Wrestle! Come on! I, I, I'll get beat up, right? I'll get beat up and, I, and people will attack Pistol, right? The real fan around here. But the reality is, is the guy who I told you, who absolutely stinks, could have won the freaking game today if he could catch a freaking football. His name's a Dory Jackson whistle. Everybody sit down with Dory Jackson. Woo! how so let's 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 run down a scenario here so <laughs> the Giants have at the, early in the game have two opportunities to score touchdowns they shoot themselves in the foot they have to settle for field goals both occasions making them up six nothing whistle please because it should be 14 nothing little baby doll instead of six to nothing okay you let the Falcons hang around, and the Falcons go down and score a touchdown. And then my favorite player in the world, Frank. My favorite player in the world, Evan Ingram. Who, I, who, oh God, Evan Ingram, right? Evan Ingram, right? He finally makes a catch. He finally gets an opportunity to play this year. And in the first freaking possession, he fumbles the football and gives the Falcons great field position. Little baby doll, please with the whistle because Evan Ingram's got me in some kind of way. A little louder, please. So, thanks, Evan Ingram, which, by the way, it is so, it is so, so, so good for me that I'm not a part of the organization because I would have been waiting in the freaking locker room to fight somebody at that point. Whistle! And I'm sure I'd have got my butt kicked, but at least I'd have said, you freaking stink! So, the defense saves the day, 7-6. I don't even know how the Giants are losing at halftime. 